if you have time in your in your class to add 15 yes. percent not only that and then when you look at that book when it says how to implement it they come right out and say uh, they they recommend withholding funds right so they recommend like you said uh, going around the curriculum director withholding funds they want to retrain teachers um, they want to remove good teachers yeah they want to retrain teachers I mean and, and starting a whole new industry common core standards cons consultants now because regular teachers can't understand mm -hmm. um, half the standards they're written so right. poorly that's one of the things that Sandra said says she says they're not even written in complete sentences. They're just, who wrote these standards? They make no sense. Right. It isn't because they're rigorous. It's because they don't make any right. sense. Right. They're just unintelligible. Mm -hmm. They're just now, unintelligible. I was also reading a little bit about the recertification of teachers. Mm -hmm. Do you yes. want to address that? Or? That's pretty eerie. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, I, you know, I know we're in Bourne here, but surrounding towns are already losing their teachers. Um, in Falmouth, they've given 40 pink slips out and at the school committee meeting they they said they had to remove 40 units and I, I find that extremely dehumanizing mm -hmm. um, and so and in our other um, off Cape but in New Bedford they're losing many many teachers they fired the entire high school apparently and and more mm -hmm. uh, saying that they would need to be recertified that they might be and they might not be able to achieve this there are organizations that are having workshops so that you can become a black belt expert certified teacher in Common Core. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty troublesome to me because what it really is, uh, seems to me, is that we have spoken to teachers. We do know they're having severe problems in the classroom. Special needs kids are totally lost with this stuff. They're mm -hmm. getting no assistance. They're just in tears all the time. Okay, they have kids in tears. They don't even have time to go to the bathroom. Like Agatha said, there is no time except to try to get through line by line these things to prepare them for these assessments, um, which don't ask about knowledge. They ask mm -hmm. about attitude questions. They're very convoluted questions. Um, anyway, so getting back to it, what the teachers feared, and this was at one of our forums in Fall River, was that they were going to be replaced. Mm -hmm. with we can call them master teachers if you want to go back to World War II days or whatever but they actually call them master teachers themselves <laughs> the Department of Education mm -hmm. and um, it seems like that's happening it seems like it's happening before our eyes because the reason these teachers are getting pink slips isn't because they're poor teachers right. it's because these children cannot do this convoluted assessment and constant testing, like Agatha said, they're tested all the time, even at the kindergarten level. I've heard that. I've heard, yeah. and, yeah. and they're they're rated. Uh, the teachers are rated according yes. to how the, the kids do on the test. It's all data. Mm -hmm. It's all data. They're collecting data on students and teachers constantly. This uh, the National Governors Association. I printed this out. This is the implement implementation of the Common Core standards. T uh, educator effectiveness and that does talk about the recertification and they're distressing to have all teachers recertified mm -hmm. so even if you've been t uh, teaching like I have you know for 30 40 years you would have to get recertified in Common Core standards if you want to get your license talk about expense <clears throat> shall we keep cha-ching cha-ching yeah. with yeah. the dollar signs now one thing um, that you've been really interested in Marianne is the data collection Yes, I have. And I know you've been going to different, um, different towns and different uh, organizations with your material, and you've become an expert on, on <laughs> Common Core. <laughs> it's, you know, you have too, just like Sandra has. So if you'd like to just talk a, a little bit about the data. Yes, I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Um, they've been collecting data on your family and children um, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. The NAEP assessments are one example that the children would take. There'd be a certain portion of academic questions, and then there'd be a whole lot of other questions. That's collecting data. Mm -hmm. How much time do you spend doing homework at home? Do your parents help you with your homework? Things that really they don't have any business knowing. Mm -hmm. Well, now we've gotten that on steroids. Just like Agatha said, the testing is on steroids. The data collection is also on steroids. And I'll just show you a couple of quick things that are just phenomenal. Um, here's an example of uh, biometric data collection, which is horrifying. But this is from Department of Education, the United States Department of Education. So I didn't make this up. You can't make it up. And um, 
there we go. These are funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in conjunction with MIT and other um, think tanks and other universities. Um, biometers to put on your children. We've got wireless skin conductors, pressure mice so that they can tell if the child is nervous, uh, posture analysis chairs, and facial expression cameras, which of course are going to become part of, that's called the MIT mood meter. They're going to become part of your little iPads or tablets that the children are holding, and they will be able to tell from the child's expression if they're worried doing this or if they can comply or if they can do this problem. I find this extremely troubling. Mm -hmm. This is what they will be, they've proposed. They've proposed even much more intrusive things for brainwave analysis, and you could read it all yourself right here. This is Didn't they lament in that report that they can't yes, get MRIs exactly. into the classroom? They literally <laughs> lamented that they could not get an MRI into the classroom. Okay, and then people will say, well, they're not collecting anything just on my child. This is just information going somewhere to help with education, but Again, this is their own information <coughs> here. The um, techno technical brief, the instant, um, National Center for Education Statistics. So if you have one, that means they have data, right? This is, for, again, from the federal government. And these are the kind of things they're saying they will collect. It's all personally identifiable. It's all personally identifiable. It's not only where the child lives and the parents, et cetera, but they want to collect sensitive information on the children, and they are doing it with Common Core. The political affi affiliations or beliefs of the parent or the family, mental and psychological problems of the student or the student's family, sexual behavior or attitudes, illegal, antisocial, self-incriminating, demeaning behavior, and then I keep saying here, are we talking about criminals or are we talking about my kid? Yeah. This is so horrifying, and it goes on religious practices, uh, privileged relationships, like if a parent knows a lawyer or knows a physician or a minister. Extremely intrusive information. All this is going to InBloom, which is um, also started by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They'll be collecting all this data and using it to feed information to all the big companies that are promoting Common Core to the federal government for whatever reason. They changed the, um, the FERPA laws a few years ago mm -hmm. so that parents no longer have any say as to what data is collected and where it's going. Uh -huh. yeah. And they just arbitrarily did this. I think it was executive orders that did yeah. it. They can, give it uh, they can give that private information that you used to have to sign for mm -hmm. to give, get your child's school information to any other entity. Um, the parents no longer need to be even told that their ch child's information is being shared. So they don't need to give consent and they don't need to be informed. And that just changed, I want to say, in 2011. Yes. The FERPA law. Yes. Uh, and we just have a few minutes left, but I did want to mention too that um, the National Sexuality Education Standards are also online and that starts in second grade. No, kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay. Frightening. So people can go online and, and get that information yes. as well. They can go to our website, libertychalkboard.org, to the school feed section. There's so much information on Common Core, all of our resources you can look up. Mm -hmm. We have um, a Facebook page as well, Liberty Chalkboard. Like us on Facebook. Anything that's new that comes up, any events that are coming up um, are all posted there. Also, there's uh, another Facebook page that someone started. It's got over 200 people already. Stop Common Core in Massachusetts. Uh -huh. And uh, last but not least, a Facebook page called um, the Massachusetts Ed, um, I forgot. I always forget theirs. I know. M K A, -A M A C S. It's we have to write these down. Everybody's <laughs> got so many. Massachusetts <laughs> Coalition for Educa for Superior Educational Standards. There M C S E S on okay. Facebook. And there is actually a, a bill that was introduced to our state legislature um, that. Uh, is go hopefully going to reject Common Core. HB 496. Go HB 496. Call your state reps and your right. state senators. Write them personal letters. Um, that is so important because they were never involved in this process and they're not going to know unless, par unless parents get outraged and start talking to them and demanding that something be done about this. Now we have a couple of minutes, so what would, what would we say to our audience? How should they get involved? Parents should... Um, please <coughs> learn as much as you can about mm -hmm. this. Look at what your kids are bringing home. Mm -hmm. Photograph things that are disturbing to you and put them up on the web. Mm -hmm. Contact us through the Liberty Chalkboard. We're making flyers about Common Core so that other parents can see what's happening. 
write to your legislators, go to the school committees, just keep school committee meeting. Yes, constantly school talking about members. it and bringing it up and alert other parents. Yeah. And a lot of towns are having public forums now. Yes. So it's spreading yes. like wildfire mm -hmm. finally. Massachusetts was slow, but uh, it's it's r really a hot topic of debate in many, many other states already right. and it's finally coming to Massachusetts. Um, and people can also go to libertychalkboard.org. Um, to the school feed section, we have an action package. So if you are on fire and ready to work, download our action package and it will say exactly do. what to do. Okay. Yes. And the dates and times of the forums will also be on that website. Anything else? Uh, I think you've covered yeah. everything. We Thank tried. You so much for having <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Really appreciate it. Thank you for being call. here. I really appreciate both of you doing this today. So thank you. Thank you.